Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel. My name is Shanks. In today we are going to play Mordor against Seven Art Armies on the beautiful map Old Brown Lands with Mumal Kills Haradrims in one single Nazgul only, who is going to be Camille the Easterling. And yeah, we will also get the chance to fight with the legendary Mumal Kills against the mighty ants from the Fangorn Forest. Which is going to be absolutely fiesta. And if you guys enjoy this kind of content on this channel, please don't forget to leave a like on these videos and also subscribe for more content like this in the future. Let's pick up the Tainted Land first, which we can actually use immediately. This way we can get to the power point of the industry a bit faster to get through the rough early game. Early game it's going to be kind of tough for us, but if we are able to survive the first couple of minutes into the game, we should be also in a very good spot because Mumma kills are extremely extremely tanky and super strong however their biggest weakness is the lack of mobility and in this map we will have to travel quite a lot so from the Nazgul we will actually recruit the witch king why because Mordor is a faction that relies heavily on the leadership system but on the other side we will not use our witch king to attack anything so he will be like a walking uh, leadership giving statue just to power empower those Mumakias and Haradrims on top of them. Come, Rohan everywhere. They are capturing now as many of these settlements as possible. The reason is simple, and this is the wood bonus. If you have four of them, you will get 30% discount, which is quite massive. But looks like we will be losing this one, unfortunately. Let's try to fight it, by the way, guys. Fight it. We are luring the peasants now into the goblin layer. This way, the mill is going to be protected. Now is about spamming buildings every single time. Well, he was already able to buy this. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Let's build more slaughterhouses in the meantime. One of the spots is going to be safe for the Mumma Kill Pen, of course. Look at look look at this. Beautiful. Nice. Now we will get the chance to get another settlement. Just like that. Of course, we won't be able to keep those settlements for a long time, but it's fine. That's going to buy us so much time as the opponent uh, players or the AI in this case has to take care of these settlements first before they can make a move. Now look at this beautiful base gas. Filled with slaughterhouses in like a minute. Oh, but he's trying to... Follow me, yeah, follow me, follow me. Five head move once again. Armory already on the field, guys? How rich are you, my dude? How rich are you? I mean, I can't complain about being rich because I believe we are also in a really good spot economically, at least in this game. But keep in mind that Mumma Kill Pen is extremely expensive. 1400 with the max discount you will get from the uh, Lamry Mills. Which is quite a lot. Hey, hey, hey. He was able to creep this already. Are you kidding me? And look how fast he's able to destroy this Lamry Mill. Do you see that? Follow me, peasants. Mumma Kill Pen. Now we have finally the money for that. That's okay. We are still getting so much value though. That's pretty nice. In this settlement, look at that. We were actually luring the <laughs> peasants to the goblin mayor, and this way we were able to keep the settlement protected. Now, let's recapture the settlement right after that. Again, the tricky part about this matchup against Rohan is that Rohan likes to spam end moods all the time. So, killing and destroying enemy settlements is not the greatest idea of all time. But I would love to see Mumma kills against ants. Trust me, I've never, se I've never seen this before. I've never get uh, to see Mumma kills fighting against ants. I don't even know who will be winning this one. But we will find out very soon together. It costs 1400 each with the max bonus of the food bonus from the slaughterhouses. Without that, they would cost around 2000 I believe. Now what we can do is demolish one of the slaughterhouses and build up the Haradrim Palace to recruit some Haradrims to place them on top of our Mumma kills. This way they can even deal more damage. But again, the damage is not a problem with the Mordor factions and the Mumma kills. It's about their speed. They are extremely sloppy. So when it comes to reach the other bees, they will have to travel for a really long time. The pressure is real, but until Rohan gets some ends or stronger units like Aragorn, Tyrion, and of course uh, Rohirrim, we should be in a good spot. They're also getting more and more power points collected. Let's get industry. That's going to give us a huge money boost, but not only that, it will also speed up, speed up the progress of getting our structures to level 2 or level 3 a bit faster, which is going to overall increase our durability of the base a little bit more. So, we will lose the settlements, of course, but it's fine. 
We got the value of that. Let's now recruit two of these. And we will start saving for the Witch King. And Witch King is going to be Camille the Easterling. However, we will not use the Witch King for attacking anything. I want to use the Witch King for leadership exclusively. So he will be just flying around the case, around the Mumakirs and spot them with additional damage and armor leadership. Which is needed for Mordor, let's be real. Mordor is a faction that heavily relies on the leadership you will get from the Darkness, from the Eye of Sauron and from the Witch King. Other than that, Mumai kills are going to be extremely squishy and they will be dying extremely fast as well. So now we have two Mumai kills. We gotta wait for the third one. There is no reason of rushing. We are in a good spot. And our goal early on is to defeat one of the Rohans as soon as possible. Just to be able to get the second castle as soon as possible. Rather than palaces level 2, the runes are kinda useless in this matchup. We have now enough power points for the Eye of Sauron as well, just from the defense. And look at that, almost level 3 already. Do you see that? That's going to make them tankier. And now every single one of these structures is going to act like a tower at the same time. You see the amount of experience you get in compared to these slaughterhouses? That's crazy, right? But look at the pressure, dude. How many peasants does he have? Holy guacamole! Alright, all right, we, we need to defend this. So we gotta move. I don't want to lose the slaughterhouses yet. It's too early for that. And we're just going to weaken our defense big time. Now the Mumma Kill Pen is level 2. Remember, once it's level 3, every Mumma Kill coming out of the Mumma Kill Pen is going to be automatically level 2. Which means more DPS, but also more uh, sustain. As units in level 2, they will be able to heal up passively over time. Oh my goodness, the Mumma Kill. Almost level 2 already. Dope. But let's not take too much damage from the archers, though. Let's peel back for now. We have enough for the Witch King. And with, with the Witch King, we can finally make a move. With three Mumma kills, Witch King, I of Sauron. I think we should be able to deal a great amount of damage. The great part about the Mumma kills is the fact that they are one-shotting every single hero. Like Aragorn, no problem. If you just charge over him and trample him down. Just like that, you know. He has nothing he can do about that. Gandalf will also get one-shotted. I'm actually curious if we are able to one-shot the ants or if we are able to trample the ants because ants are big creatures. So that's going to be a tough one, I believe. But we will we will see. Let's get one more. And again, command points are the biggest problem we got because we have only 160 command points available in a 4v4 map like Old Brown Lands. Look at this Haradrams. Do you see that? That's pretty dope. The, Mum the Witch King is here. Once again, we will not use the Witch King for attacking anything will be just a supporter in this game and now we will use the industry on the other side just like that we will need money of course to be able to buy this castle it will need us 5,000 resources which is quite a lot there is a farm which is dope so no end mood coming up anytime soon and now uh, we will also need at least one moment kill but we can't be our command points kept to defend ourselves so three two one in Witch King, we just make sure to stay close. There is Theodin, the king. He's now saying, what can men do against such a reckless hate? Which is a very great question from the king of Rohan. <laughs> because what would you do if you have like these creatures attacking your wall like five minutes into the game? You know what I'm saying? That's kind of crazy, my dude. Hey, hey, you think you can attack me like that? Mumai kill, show your power. Oh my goodness, delicious. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Okay, we broke the parts. Let's now go inside. There is Gimli. I mean, he was Gimli. Gimli, go. Oh, Theoden got one-shotted. <laughs> Dude. Uh, but you see how much damage the Mumakis are taking, even though they have Witch King and, of course, Eye of Sauron doesn't give any... But it's still, you know, like, that's crazy amount of damage. Witch King is even tanking all the damage. Yes, Eowyn. Eomir just got killed. Witch King has to be careful. The Mumma Kill has been taken down. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's why we need Darkness as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? Without Darkness, they are just taking too much damage from the towers. They're in a good spot in the meantime. We need more Mumma Kills though. And Witch King, just don't die, please. Oh, there is another Gimli. Let's trample him down. <laughs> like, you get so many power points. But once again, one of the rules is that we are not allowed um, to use the Balrog from the Spellbook. So one of them has been taken down once again. Let's trample. There is Legolas. That's why. And Aragorn. Let's kill them. Look, Aragorn, guys. Aragorn is dead. Let's go, Legolas, now. Please kill Legolas. 
Yeah, he's dead. You see the devastating uh, damage the Mumma kids are able to deal, but they are once again vulnerable. But for the next attack, luckily for us, we will have Darkness, which is going to make our units a bit tankier. But I don't want to send only one single Mumma kill. We will need more than that. We will need at least two, if not three, to deal the damage we are looking for. We have also four power points collected, which means we can pick up the Scavenger. There is no reason of, you know, saving up for Balrog, which we can't use. And I don't want to actually waste time. Let's go with two Mumma kills at the very same time. So let's see if we can finish off the base. We were dealing great amount of damage. And so far he has no ends. And this mill is level 3 by the way. Every evil structure in Battle for Middle Earth 1 is going to be able to shoot at enemy units. And you see how much value you will get from killing those Rohirrim. You get 15 for each of them. Plus 7 for killing peasants from the scavenger. Okay, we have now the third one. Let's actually wait for the third one. And then we can go for like, this should be definitely successful. And with this, we should be also able to finish off the castle. Hopefully. I don't want to jinx it though. So let's use the industry once again. The second it's available, there is no reason to not use it. And we can get even more movement kills in the meantime. Maybe not Minharadrams because they also will take 10 of our command points, you know. Gollum is still alive, by the way. He gives us great amount of vision around this area. More peasants are coming, but once again, our defense is great enough. And the thing about Rohan is that if long, as long as you don't destroy his settlements, he will not be able to build end moods. But the problem is, the second we destroy this Rohan entirely, he will also be automatically losing those settlements. And there is a high potential and higher chance that one of the other Rohan players is going to come and build end moods left and right. Oh, El Elmer throwing a spear like a madman. Oh, but they might actually build end moods here, I'm afraid. I hope not, but we will see about that. We will see about that. We are command points capped, boys. We are command points capped. Now, I believe we gotta take care of these towers first. Let's use the darkness right off the bat. You see, our Haradrams are also killing those uh, units in no time. Let's use Eye of Sauron. Boom. One shot it, just like that. Kill the other tower. And you go inside the jeans, my dudes. Just trample down this Elmer. Oh, Elmer. Just like in the films. Not like in the films. We get only 34 killing Elmer, though. That's uh, kind of unfortunate and disappointing at the same time. Now we gotta focus on the structures only. Just focus on the structures only, please. Let's move the Eye of Sauron on top of the Mumma kill. And kill the structures only. That's all we gotta do. The level 3 farms are beefy, of course. It's gonna take us some time. But we see, you see yourself that the darkness is giving us such a crazy boost, you know? Let's trample them down a little bit. Boom, there we go. Level 3, just like that. We killed the archer range. Now, you see the level 3 farms, we need a bit longer time to destroy them. In the meantime, Eomir is running it down. Did he actually buy this? Let me check if he was buying an end mood. Yes, you see? He was buying an end mood right, right here. So, he will attack our base very, very soon with the end mood, unfortunately. Can you charge, please, troll? Uh, Mumma kill, I mean, not troll. Nice, we charge. One attack before you die. Okay, we lost one of the Mumma kills, but I believe the other two should be able to survive. And they also deal like a crazy amount of damage around them. They were able to attack the farm and destroy the wall at the same time. It's going to be the first opening down, which is amazing. We need more Mumma kills, more Mumma kills, more Mumma kills. So we will have four Mumma kills in total. There is uh, Gimli, but what can Gimli do against such a reckless seed? The answer is absolutely nothing besides giving us 45 resources. Thank you so much, Gimli son. Appreciate that. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Gimli is tanking. We gotta focus down theory because Gimli is extremely tanky against arrows, by the way. So now what we can do is please these on top of the Mumma kill and use these two Mumma kills to defend ourselves eventually against the ends, which are going to come very, very soon. And now in the second castle, let's build furnaces exclusively. Why? Because they are tankier. And we have already six Lord Houses. We don't need more of, more of them. So we don't need to use the passive from the furnace, which is a steel bonus. But we are, you know, in a better spot if we are using these tankier buildings. So, nice. Are the ends coming now? Soonish? Look how tanky Gimli is. Do you see that? Unbelievable. Oh, that's going to be Fiesta, boys. Now we are going to see Ants versus Mumma kills. 
I'm actually very curious how this is going to work out. Let's see. Ains, but they are gone very soon, right? They have not much time left because they had to travel all the way from this spot to the bottom side. But it's fine. I believe they will be, you know, recruiting more and more Ains. Don't attack the... Don't, oh, never mind. He's attacking the peasants. What is going on here? Oh, there is another end mood coming up, you see? Okay, that's going to be now difficult. Because the thing is that we have only the chance to recruit... Let's kill this Kimni first because he's being annoying. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like, you cannot be that tanky, my dude. You cannot be that tanky. So, basically, because the problem is that we will need to defend ourselves against ants, and more ants are coming, as you can see and tell. But also, at the same time, we will need to use our Mumu kills to eventually destroy and kill them, right? So, yeah. Let's see. I want to see that. Let's use I, and let's see if we can trample them. No, you're not able to trample them, right? But you are dealing damage, but it's not like one-shotting them or something. Are they dealing damage to you? Oh, they are dealing crazy damage to you, my dude. But you can still trample them down, right? Yeah, you can still trample them down. I mean, they don't get trampled, literally trampled, but they actually... You see how this they are destroying our ants. This, uh, I mean, they are destroying our Mumai kills. The ants, though. The ants, though. That's crazy. We need reinforcements ASAP. We will need more Mumai kills. Also from the second base. The problem is ants are almost invincible against arrows. Let's use the Witch King to grab the settlement behind. Let's build more Mumai kill pen. The problem is not, not the money, but the command points we got. And uh, the... Also, the problem is that Rohan doesn't need command points to build end moods. So, they should be in a good spot, hopefully, around this end. And now, our Mumai kids need to make something happen. They need to be there fast, 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 fast. Because we have said that we are not going to use Aragon is coming too. That we are not going to use our Witch King to attack or to defend. It means we will have to wait for the Mumai kids. And you see what I mean, right? Right? The, the movement speed is the biggest problem we get. Like, the... They are just extremely slow, these units. What is happening in the meantime in the main base? And nothing crazy. We are getting more Mumai kills, so it should be generally fine. We will also need these Mumai kills around the side. Because we will need as many Mumai kills as possible. You have seen yourself that, you know, two of them are not enough to actually finish off the castle by themselves. So now let's use Darkness. That's going to change something that's going to make them a bit tankier. Now the last march of the ants. Trample, trample, trample. You see, it doesn't do any damage almost. Trampling. To the ends. Witch King has to stay a little bit closer. To support them. Let's see how much damage we are dealing to the... Oh, they are permanent ends, by the way. This ends. He has also tribute now. Holy guacamole. We gotta kill the Mumai kill pen, man. Look how, how much they are hurting the Mumai kill. Even with almost massive leadership. And the end mode is so extremely tanky, my dude. Where are the other Mumai kills? Guys, please move on a bit faster. Come on now. Let's use Eye of Sauron. If we killed him, nice. We got 450, but money doesn't matter anyway. Anything anyway. Let's kill this dude. Let's trample down this dude. Okay, we killed him. We gotta now kill this end mood before it's healing up once again to full HP. In the meantime, our castle is in a good spot. And we need to kill this end mood, man. We also need to recruit even more Mumai kills. But again, we are command points kept pretty much 24-7. Yes, not even fire, which is the main weakness, of course, of the ants. They will take so much damage. Let's now try to not lose the level 5 Mumai kill, shall we? So let's send him back to the base so he can respawn. Uh, recover over time. We gotta kill this Gimli, though. The problem is that we need to recapture this. Turn and kill him there. He is trying to kill you. You just kill him. Nice. Almost level 6. Uh, that is... Oh, my, never mind. He was almost killing my Witch King too. The pressure is real. We gotta replace this. We have enough power points, but the problem is we cannot use them. What's the matter? Oh, he was buying a farm. That's that's good. Okay, back, back, back. We don't need to destroy this farm. That's the last thing we want, by the way. We don't want them to build more end moods anytime soon. That's the... Oh, never mind. I mean, more end moods? Uh, say no more. <laughs> Where is the level 5 Mumai kill? That, that is the level 5 Mumai kill. Can we do anything with the power points? We can go for the Vestition and call the Horde. I mean, we cannot use the Balrog summon. So, please, stay closer. Level 5 might, may, might maybe 
make something happen. We need now all of our Muma kills to be together. To just kill those ends as soon as possible. Witch King, please stay closer. They are destroying our base in literally two seconds. Okay. And we also need to kill this end mood, man. That's the priority number one. And ends are even a bit faster than Mumai kills, to be honest. Which is even more annoying to be real with you. The only good thing about us is that we have like a good standing base number one, you know. Looks like he will be able to destroy the end mood. Uh, I mean the Mumai kill, but we will be able to destroy the end mood in the meantime. Don't lose the level 6 troll. Please, uh, Mumai kill. I'm, I keep saying troll because I'm so used to trolls, you know, when I'm playing Mordor. And it's an epic fight though between Mumai kills and ends. I was actually, I'm wondering, look again at end mood. Are you, are you kidding me, my dude? Oh my goodness. And in the meantime, he's rushing our base, of course. Now we will also lose the level 5 Mumai kill, right? Oh my goodness, man. Let's use I. We need more Mumai kills. Uh, man. The, Mumma, um, the end moods are so extremely triggering me, guys. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare that they have so much money to constantly build and build and build and build more and more and more end moods. Just triggering so much. And the amount of damage they have while they are extremely tanky. I mean, the ends are overall a better choice, I believe, in like most cases. Mumai kills are, of course, dealing a bit more damage to the heroes and stuff like this. They have a trample charge, but they are slower and they are also way squishier than ends. Like, ends are generally much, much tankier against almost every kind of damage besides uh, fire. While Mumai kills are also kind of squishy against normal arrows. Which king has to stay close if we gotta get a bit more... Look, the siege also from the other side. Uh, we need to destroy this end mood. And we also need to destroy... We also need to destroy this Rohan as soon as possible. Again, without Balrog and with like 160 command points only, this is going to be extremely challenging, but hopefully we can make it work. Just kill the end mood, which also is extremely tanky, by the way. Holy quackamole, why we need like 20 shots to kill this end mood, man? But it looks like we will be finally able to take it down. So more Mumu kills are coming. Now I would like to make a move. This is this is three beers? Yeah, it's three beers. So we need more Mumu kills. There is one more. Let's bring. We need at least three, if not four, to destroy the castle of Rohan at the bottom right side. So now everything is unlocked from the spellbook, but let's not even unlock the Balrog because there is no need to. Can you please kill this three beard guys? Would be awesome if you could. What is going on, man? More Mumai kills are required. The siege is so annoying, though. Look at this. There is somebody shooting at our... And he was building yet another one? Let's use darkness for that, dude. What can I say? Please charge. The problem is, even if we destroy this now, I believe he will just be able to buy this back. Okay, now we will see uh, what is happening in the meantime. How are they able to tank, the, tank, the, tank those towers all the time? Elven warriors on the field, outranging our towers, of course. We need more Mumai kills. We also gotta find a solution about this tribute who's shooting from a long distance all the time. Looks like we were able to kind of win this, but again, building end moves, man. What is the counterplay to that, boys? Please trample. Okay, we need more Mumai kills, boys. We need more Mumai kills. The thing is that they are now coming out level 2 because Mumai kill pen is level 3. But uh, yeah, first of all, let's buy this settlement. Then we need to take care of this Mumai kill. Um, not Mumai kill. I mean, three beards. Come on now, dude. But this is intense. We need more command points, guys. They cost 30 command points and we have only 160. So long story short, we have like no chance of getting more than four of them at the same time or five eventually maximum he was able to build uh, destroy this what is this damage though why is our defense all of a sudden so weak against this unit i don't get it now please kill this or oh, elvin warrior summon just why not please trample look look how much damage the elves are dealing 
to our Mumbai kill. That's what I'm saying, you know, that they would deal like nearly no damage in compared to the ants in the meantime. 3 bit is of course way more resistant against trample. Just kill those units, please, Mumbai kill. It's only a level 1 Mumbai kill. We need more than that. We need more than that. We need more than that. So he was buying a farm here. That's the, you know, the war swing. What we can do is destroy this farm. Never do that. Unless you want to fight even against more ends. You see how painful this can be. And the problem is they are, they have like zero sustain now, right? No man can kill you. Because you, nobody, is fi nobody is fighting you. Maybe that's why, my friend. Witch King. We have zero settlements, but I'm fine with that. I don't mind about that, to be honest. We also need to now set a rally point. This way the Mumaki can move automatically to the second castle, which is always under attack. But as long as the opponent has no ends, we should be in a good spot. Now, in order to be hopefully able to win this match, we need to destroy the second dude as soon as possible. That's the only way. However, our darkness is on cooldown. Our uh, Balrog is not available in this country. So... Three... Three Oh my goodness, Aomi, just like in the films, boys, going ham. But we are taking the revenge and getting 90 resources in the bank. Let's trample. And again ends, and again ends, and again ends. This is so triggering, so triggering. And look at this, we are losing all the towers left and right all the time. More movement kills are required. You gotta make a move now. Doesn't matter if we lose a couple of these, it doesn't really matter anything. We just need to destroy this, you know, this... AI at the bottom right side as literally as soon as possible. So Elvin is here. Just turn around and kill her. Please. Do it. You can do it. Mumma kill, I trust you. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. 30, 30 resources in the bank. So we have now four Mumma kills. Hopefully this is going to be enough. In the worst case scenario, our darkness is almost back up, so we can use darkness to eventually make something happen. One part of the wall has been broken. Let's go for the second part. The thing is their damage is not it's really good, you know. Let's be honest, they are dealing a lot of damage, but the problem is they are also attacking extremely slow. You know what I'm saying? So, we get 15 for killing Meriadog Brennybog. Let's try to get away with without using um, the darkness. Even though he's building towers now, I'm pretty tempted to use darkness. And yeah, you know what? Just use it. Get it on cooldown and get it up once again a bit faster. So, Witch King, you need to stay a little bit closer to the Mumakias. Hey man, can you please destroy this citadel that is still in? Just kill him. Just one shot him. Yeah, join all you want, my friends. Uh, let's destroy the armory. Let's use Eye of Sauron in the meantime. One of them is level 6. One of them only kills. Now we gotta we gotta take down the stable, which is a very tanky building. Let's trample. Which can just tank. Boom, boom, boom. Now I will show you guys the strength of Mumma kill in this kind of situations. Just move the Eye of Sauron. We need to take care of these towers ASAP. It's very important. You, in the meantime, just trample. There we go. You see, their strength is like taking down the walls in no time. And with that also, you can take down the towers. But in the meantime, okay, we are in a good spot actually in the in the bases. So maybe we can finally defeat this guy. We killed also all these towers. There's only two towers on the left side, which is which are... Why are you moving? He's trying to rebuy this or rebuild this, right now. Huh? Just kill the stable. The level 3 stable is so tanky too. But not tanky enough. Just focus down the buildings please. That's all you gotta do. That's all I want you to do. We have also one moment kill for the worst case scenario. For the defense in the second castle. And the thing is. The more opponents we will be able to defeat. The more available command points we will be able to get. Money is not a problem as you can see until. We are getting so much value from the scavenger. From the spellbook as well. So darkness is going to be on cooldown. And we have now level 6. Two of them actually. Level 6 movement kills. Which is pretty dope. And they should also be able to heal up slowly but surely over time. Just kill this farm already. Come on dude. Sometimes they are extremely hard to micro around. Look. You, you see what they are doing? Can you please kill this farm? Don't die. I'm telling you. If you die to the tower. I would be so upset. Don't die. Alright. We destroyed. Our army has been destroyed. What is happening in the meantime? Aragon is here. Double Aragon, double trouble. Aragon, you will die, my friend. Yes, 225 in the bank. That's what I like to see. 
Not even Aragorn has a chance, by the way. Even with Anduril's sword, there is nothing he can do against the trample damage of Mumakil, which are the best hero killing units in the entire game. So now, just ditch our bet and wait until you will be recovering over time. In the meantime, our base is under attack all the time, pretty much. But again, without ends, it's hard for him to break to our, to our defense. Actually, pretty hard. So now also every building here are level uh, 3. And you see we have now more command points available all of a sudden. Which is dope. So let's build furnaces exclusively. And um, again, the reason is simple. Because they are tankier than slow houses. And what you can also do is use industry as they are building up. Because the second they will be up on the field, your industry will be affected. Even though you was using it as they were in the building progress. You see, they are glowing now. What is happening in the meantime? I think ants are attacking us, by the way. So for that reason, so basically, that is our end, and don't build the end mood here, please. Don't build the end mood, that's all I'm asking you for. <sighs> I was asking for too much, I guess. Uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, this is a permanent end. Are they healing up over time? Yeah, slowly. So we can now use these end, uh, use these movement kills to eventually defend ourselves. This is a permanent, yeah. So basically now we gotta take care of this Rohan, who is spamming lots of permanent ends on us. There is a difference between the person who is just using the end moods, but the other one is recruiting additional ends, which are going to be there until we are going to kill them. And they are even more annoying to deal with, to be honest. So, okay. And more ends are coming the last match. Let's use darkness. We need as much DPS as possible. Can you trample them down, please, Mumai Kills? You see how hard they are time to, uh, to control sometimes? Please trample. I mean, trampling them does actually nothing for us. Alright. Let's kill Legolas. And just run them down in the meantime. Which can you support them? I believe we should be able to handle the situation with our Mumma kills. I hope at least. Also here. What happened to the second one? I was afraid that he lost, actually. Oh my goodness. They are destroying our level 6, my dude. Can we, can we kill this end mood before? Please. What is happening in the meantime on the other side? Our Mumakis are diving a little bit too, too deep. But is are we winning this fight at least? Kinda, but they are ignoring our Mumakis and going for the buildings immediately. And he was even able to destroy one of the Mumakil pants. I believe that's the person with the Mumakils. Look, he's kicking our butts, you know. <laughs> Literally. Like, what is the spam of Mumakils, my dude? What is the spam? And we lost this fight hardcore, by the way. And now he was also building an end mode here. What is going on now? We need more Mumma kills. Please, more defense. Please, 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 please. Money is not a problem, but without Nazgul's, we have not enough strength to fit, face against those um, Mumma kills all the, uh, ends all the time. So now we gotta defend this area, boys. Otherwise, we will be losing because he's building yet another end mode right in front of our face. Aragorn is actually also here. Legolas is here. Like, give me a break, dude. <laughs> Come on now, please. Give me a break. More ends, more ends, more elves, more elves. Legolas or... What is this guy? You see the banner? <laughs> Alright. Can we defend this? Now, just kill the ants first. The thing is, they are dealing so much damage to our Mumai kills. That's kind of... I don't like that. They are destroyed our citadel. Yeah, this is going to be definitely taken down. Can we kill this? Destroy this. More Mumai kills, boys. You gotta laugh to see it. Let's trample. Let's trample all of you. Doesn't deal too much damage. Actually, not no damage at all. This castle is going to be destroyed, boys. We need to we need to reclaim the castle, though. That's very important. Please, 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 kill Aragorn. Kill Aragorn. Does he have knife fighter? Yeah, he's killing our. I mean, they are just killing our Mumakis way too fast. Did we also lose the citadel? No, what is happening in this base in the meantime, by the way? What is going on? There is three beards. Mumai kills, please, please. I need you, Mumai kills. I can't afford to lose you, my friend. Trample down Aragorn, come on now. Nice, we trample down Aragorn. Are these uh, ends permanent? Maybe we can try to stall and buy some time, but he's building it. Another end mood, boys. I believe you gotta give up the base, though. 
I believe we gotta give up the bees. There are multiple three beards now, left and right. And the end spam is kind of kind of crazy when you think about that. Now, we can't protect this piece anymore. So we will definitely need more Mumma kills. Maybe we need to play some more of them, even though the Haradrims are not going to do anything against the ends. And ends are the biggest problem we got right now. So please, one we one this 3 bit. can you do it? With the Witch King. Yeah, you should be able to do that. The problem is that the end is potentially able to attack you three times before you are able to attack him one time. And there is an end mood too, yeah. So we gotta destroy actually this Rohan first. Oh my goodness, the fire arrow. Let's use darkness right off the bat. Please kill this Freebeard, who is literally being extremely annoying. Looks like he will not be able to finish off this castle yet. But again, there are some ends, there are some ends, so really not fun. Can we kill this Mumma, uh, this Freebeard? More Mumma kids are coming. Just place them right here. And also more Mumma kids are required from this. Looks like we were able to kill the three beard. That's good. That's gonna buy us some time. Our defense is not bad against anything but ends, you know. Our towers are doing a phenomenal job. But the problem is that the ends are the main army from our opening. That's the problem what we got. Okay, there is more ends. You gotta love to see it. Mm, yeah, we will need to... We are command points cap, by the way. That's what it is, you know. And this Alvin warrior is able to outrange us for whatever reason. Not anymore. Okay. We need more Mumma kills, but we can't afford it. So now, there is another end army coming, but it's we gotta just ignore them at this point, guys. I gotta be honest with you, because we need to reclaim this area before he even builds more ends. So let's try to repair this. Are these permanent? No, but we need to, we need to fight this. We can't ignore them. We shouldn't. Okay, nice. So, please try to deal some damage. Wait for the number four, maybe. Just kill them one by one. I was trying to ignore them and go for the end mood all the time, but they have, like, endless money. They are just recruiting more and more, you know? Kill this three bit, please. Let's keep up, keep moving the Eye of Sauron at the same time. In the meantime, we are also having a Mumma kill moving on from this area. And another... And army coming from the other side. And with permanent ends and three beards. <laughs> the last thing what we want is to lose this castle while trying to destroy, uh, defend the other one. You know what I'm saying? That's really the worst possible thing what can happen. But we need to reclaim this settlement before anything else. So let's send three of them back at this point. And uh, basically, let's build now towers only. And let's get the slaughterhouse here. And you defend this area. Which king you support them? There is one more end. That's good. Now let's focus on the squishy heroes like Theorin with our towers and not waste our damage output from the towers against the ends. Because ends are immune to damage. <laughs> we have also no fire. The problem is that the units you put on, on top of the, you know, Mumma kills have also no fire. They have like not the DPS they need to eventually make a change. This is a permanent end. Yes, it is a permanent end. Let's go and try to kill him, please. He's literally able to one-shot our towers, by the way. That's the funny part about that, you know? And he's recruiting even more and more and more. But now, we should be able to save this. Now, we gotta kill those uh, permanent ends first. And he has two of them. At least two of them. And there are more of them. More than two of them, actually. Yeah, they have both permanent ends everywhere. And they are getting too much money at this point, you know? Can you kill in a one-on-one? -on -one? No? Nice, you killed, bro. That's pretty... I'm, I'm proud of you. Guys, please kill this... Ends. Please, Mumma kills. Before they kill the Mumma kill pen. Do we have more? Nah, that's all we got. That's all we got. Like, that's all you can do with this many command points, guys. That's the problem. Dude, guys, please attack them. There is another permanent end. I cannot believe that. Defend, defend, defend. We also need to de destroy this one. Oh, actually, we were able to win this fight. For whatever reason. Just kill this and ignore everything else. Peasants, they can't hurt you. This is Legolas. Yeah, who cares? Legolas, what can Legolas do against such a reckless seed? So now, you guys, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ignore Legolas, ignore Legolas. We gotta, we gotta kill this end mood. 
We gotta kill this end mode. Which can you spot them? Legolas has been taken down. This end should be the next target. Hopefully, we will be able to catch him as he's disengaging all the time. And more ends are coming. Dude, stop attacking our towers. Fight against the Mooma kill, man. Look, the Mooma kill isn't even able to catch him, dude. Can you please attack him? Nice. Nice. Finally, you made a move. Kill this Eowyn, please. And then we gotta kill Aragorn also. Uh, but also, we need to destroy this end mood. Holy, we need to do so much, so much stuff. Okay, more Mumma kills are required, but again, we are command points kept all the time. Looks like we lost one of the ends, uh, one of the eagles. Uh, I can't even talk. I'm so I'm so focused, guys. Sorry for that. One of the Mumma kills, I mean. We have l so many. Okay, nice. Finally, we got another one. Remember from the level 3 Mumma kill pan, they are able to enter the battlefield by being level 3. Okay, we killed Aragorn, killed Kimli too, before he actually rages on us. Okay, nice. We killed Kimli too. Now it's a different story. Now, until he will get some more ends, we should be in a good spot. Guys, please destroy this end mode already. Come on. Witch King, you gotta make something happen too. Now, we need to keep it, keep moving on and attack. We need to try to defend ourselves, not with every single movement kill we got. This has to be enough, you know, what we have. Yes, we have one more moving on, so... Kill this end mood's nice. Now, it's time to destroy this dude. And then we gotta move on to the middle one. That's the plan. Because the middle one is spamming so many ends. It's like the most triggering one for me right now as we are talking. And we gotta kill this Aragorn too. Aragorn is just so extremely tanky and almost taking no damage. The problem is that Rohan heroes or Rohan affection generally is so tanky against arrows. Okay, we need to kind of try to defend this castle with that what we got. Because by, by defending all alone, we won't be able to win. Especially when we don't get the chance to use the army of the dead. Uh, not the army of the dead, the Balrog Raider, sorry. Are these ends permanent? One of them is three beards, so we gotta kill three beards here. That's the plan. Okay, now. Oh, he has fire arrow. Let's use darkness. Witch King, don't die, please, 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 please. He has Eowyn. He might be able to finish me off. He not. Oh, that was Eowyn, actually. Never mind. He has Eowyn, too. Oh, luckily, this Eowyn was not smiting us. We could have, she could have killed Witch King, by the way. Okay, now we are seeing multiple towers coming up. We gotta kill those towers first. Just ignore the peasants. They are dealing no damage. Okay. Just attack the towers, please. Okay. Momo, uh, I mean, Witch King is tanking, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Like, how much money do they actually have that they are able to build so much stuff, you know? Yeah, we have reached command points. That's good. Move here. This is a permanent end? No, that's not a permanent end. We just kill the towers, guys. That's all I'm asking you for. Please attack a bit fast the moment we kill. Don't sleep. Stop attacking my Witch King. Okay, we, we destroyed the towers, right? That's dope. And okay, now we can go inside and make something happen. Just kill the tower. If darkness and stuff, it, it still feels like that they are not strong enough to move my kills. Guys, please move! Why are you not moving? What, are they not able to enter the base? Are you kidding me? We have enough defense here. Is this Legolas shooting us down all the time? Kill this Kimni first. Kill this Legolas right after. Trample him. Okay, nice. It looks like we are not even able to enter the beast, boys. It's kind of buggy. Uh, maybe we need to break the gate. Sometimes it's buggy that you cannot enter the base from Rohan. You see? I can't right-click inside the castle from Rohan. That's the problem, oh. With the Mumai kills. Oh, more ants. You gotta laugh to see it, boys. Yeah. Like, the problem is, what's the matter if we can't do anything about the situation now? We will just lose all the... I will just leave the Mumai kills to die because they are just too slow to move around. Now move the Witch King to this Mumai kill. This is a permanent end. Let me check. Yes, it's a permanent end. So we need to fight against them. Very important. Now we gotta target the other Rohan. This one in the middle. And hopefully he won't be bugged. And for this Rohan, at the very last, we might need to use Balrog to be able to finish him off. Because our units are not able to enter the castle right now. You can't enter, you see? With, from all the possible sides. 
I landed all you want, bro. Let's trample. Okay, we killed both uh, heroes. That's good. And this uh, end is not permanent, so it should not be able to do much. We need more Mumma kills. Okay, more Mumma kills are required. Just keep fighting here. And keep him busy at least. That's all you gotta do. Can I go inside now? Now I can go inside, right? Yeah, you, you, could, you can go only inside from the gate. It seems like. Okay. But not from the wall. So, Witch King, can you come here? I mean, I mean, we took so much damage now. I believe we should not be able to finish him off anymore. Please, Trample. There's too many Rohirrah marches, boys. We are literally dealing so much damage to him right now. But he's also de dealing so much damage in return. Yes, buildings level 3 and stuff right that, you know? So, yeah, basically, or well, again, he was able to destroy this. I didn't pay attention. The problem is he's also summoning additional um, ends all the time, you know? What is happening here? Aragorn again and stuff like that. Aragorn has been taken down. Money is not a problem, but everything else is a problem. Oh? We need more Mumma kills, boys. We need more Mumma kills. More Mumma kills. Okay, so basically we need to finish off this guy as soon as possible. While we also need to defend this base as soon as possible. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta do a lot of stuff. And also need to de defend this base. Against permanent ends. There's three beard again throwing rocks at us. But I wanna just ignore the fact and move on actually to this base, guys. That's what I what I wanna do at this point. And use these moment kills maybe to defend this castle. Don't kill my Mumma kills or don't hurt them. Uh, this is literally very annoying. And mood also here. Just keep building stuff, I believe, just to distract them. Use the economy advantage we got. That's all we can really do. Just are these ends permanent? No. Let's use darkness. We gotta kill those ends. We can't ignore them. Let me tell you that much. This Mumma kills, they are so extremely slow when it comes to move. There is three beards. There is a permanent end. So he will eventually siege us all the time. Can you please trample? Just don't fight them anymore. Just kill this. Look how long it takes to kill the end with like darkness plus witch king leadership. Actually two hits. <laughs> okay, never mind. But it's still like the problem is not the amount of hits they need. The problem is the amount of speed they have. Like how much time they actually take. Uh, a need to be, you know, able to attack twice. That's what I'm trying to say. Now go inside the jeans and finish him off. He has no more towers, right? So we gotta just focus on the buildings. Let's use Screech. Just, just focus on the buildings. That's all I'm asking you for. We have now some reinforcements coming up here. We need to kill this Rebuild before he destroys our Mumma kill pen level 3. That would be the worst case scenario. Okay. Just focus down the buildings, please. 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 Ignore. Peasants can't hurt you, my friend. Just kill the level 3 structures. That's the only thing you can be hurt by. So nice. We are doing a good job so far, I would say. The Mumma kill is taking free damage because he's not able to automatically attack anything for whatever reason. The three bit has been taken down. It's going to buy us some time. Aragon is using Anduri Sword there for whatever reason too. Like a lot of shenanigans are happening in this game. It's hard to follow up what is going on, to be honest. <laughs> at least for me, I'm losing my focus and I'm kinda getting tilted at the same time from facing against this many ends of you know all the time. Oh, he was using the hook strike on the leg on the Mumma kill. I see Legolas there. But we gotta ignore everything and just focus down the buildings and structures just to finish them off as soon as possible. The enemy is in our camp. The enemy is our camp. Yeah, true, true, true. So let's move here. We destroyed the enemy. We destroyed the enemy, boys. That's dope. Now we have one less opening to be worried about. And Legolas, you are annoying me. You gotta. You, I, I'm sorry, but you will die. Oh, ne what? Okay, never mind. I take it back. You are not going to die. We're going to die. Kill him, Mumma kill! Mumma kill before he kills the witch king, kill him! Oh my goodness, kill him, nice. We did it, we did it, boys, we did it. So let's now 
and uh, build towers first. That's the first thing we gotta do. And then we are going to build Mumbai kill pens only. Why? Because we can afford it. <laughs> kill this Aragorn, maybe. How is the beast standing here? We need to defend. We need to defend this. We need more Mumbai kills. But again, command points are a big, big problem of what we got right now. Witch King, we need to support this army. We need to trample. Trample down the archers before they destroy our Mumbai kills. Oh, there is Legolas, by the way. Also hitting very hard against Mumbai kills. If you don't know. If we kill Legolas, please kill Legolas. Legolas, 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 Legolas. Witch King. We are losing so many Mumbai kills. Holy guacamole. Look, this Legolas damage. Again, he's level almost 6, that's why. But we are also able to deal great amount of damage to him. Level 6, don't die. Don't level 7, I mean. Try to get away. Oh, more ants. You gotta love to see it, guys. One of them is even permanent. Holy moly. Can you get away with the level almost 3? Okay, let's use industry here. Hopefully, that's going to get our buildings to level 3. That's a, It was a mistake, to be honest with you guys, too. So, basically, we need to now kill this Mumbai kill, which is permanent. And now, ignore everything else and go for this guy. Go for this guy right here. Because he's the one who's building 10 uh, ten uh, end moods around us, I believe. Look, there is another end coming. I don't think it's... I, I think it's a purple one. Yeah, yeah, I take it back. It's not the... Uh, there is 3 beat. Can you kill 3 beat too, please? That's all I'm asking you for. Please just kill him. Kill this. Nice. No man can kill you. We got you. We got you, bro. Please just ignore everything and kill this end mood. And then we need to finish off this castle ASAP. Let's use darkness. Look, look the Mumaki. Level almost 8. And level 8 now. Just like that. The camp is under attack. Are you kidding me? Again? Under attack? Yeah, kill this. Okay, so we gotta we gotta trample them. Oh my kill. You and me, baby. You and me, let's go. Kill this end mood, yes, 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 yes. Just break the gate. I break the wall already. Looks like we will be losing this space, boys. <laughs> Our Mumai kill, let's try to save him. Oh, what happened to this space? Oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> let's use I. I see you. Let's go inside, inside, inside. Just go inside. Inside, inside, inside. Focus on the buildings and structures only. We lost this Mumai kill though. But we are getting more Mumai kills now in the meantime. Maybe more Mumai kills also from here. Money is not a problem, oh. But it's going to be soonish a problem, oh. Can you guys focus down the buildings only? Is it. Am I, am I asking too much actually? Cloud breaking now. The problem is they will get enough power points for army of the dead. Maybe I need to break another part of the wall, man. They, they just can't pass through it. They are too thick, you know. They refuse to attack. You see that? Sometimes they just, are, are all, you know, they are all about to attack, but then they just stop attacking for whatever reason. Uh, we won't be able to finish off the space, am I right? I don't think so. Um, yeah, we will need more movement kills. Darkness is on cooldown, and of course, the Cloud Break is just making them even slower than they already are. So we were able to deal a bit amount of damage, I guess. Not the end of the world. Looks like we will be losing this, of course, in long terms. As we are command points kept once again. And what a suffer game, dude. What a suffer game, guys. And they are not even close to be done yet. What is this game, my dude? We need... Oh, come on. It would be nice if you could just finish off this one. He has, like, multiple towers, of course, shooting at us all the time. We can't get any units on the field. Hey, please defend this. Oh, my kill. Three beards. If I level eight, more my kill, though. And he's full HP. Now, just ignore everything and go. Go, 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 go. Kill this. We need to use all the more kills to finish off this Rohan, which is hurt now. Are these... Er <laughs> The ends are so extremely triggering, dude. Okay, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Go fast. It's not even the ends. I don't care. They are also ignoring us and trying to deal economical damage to us and trying to destroy our castle all the time. Look how many ends. 
Like, it's a nightmare. I will have nightmare from ants today in my dreams. Look how much damage they are also dealing to us, to our Mumai kills. I mean, they are dealing enough damage to not be ignored anymore at this point. You know what I'm saying? What are we gonna do without our camp? Yeah, what are we gonna do without our camp? So he's gonna, in the worst case, he's going to buy it. That's what's gonna happen. Look this, look this ants. Look this ants. Oh my goodness, man. Oof, 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 oof. Please, 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 please. Did he buy this? No, he didn't buy it. That's good. That's good. Are we winning this fight? I don't even know what is going on right now, to be honest with you. We are also, did we lose a level 8 Mumma kill? Hell yeah, brother. That's what we did. We did. We did. Trample. Mumma kill. And we see some rocks being thrown at us. And also Treebeard is here. Just why not? A Treebeard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Level 5 archers. Permanent ends, ladies and gentlemen. Legolas. And let the fun begin, Kappa Kipo. It's not fun for me at all. Let's use darkness. Kill the units first. Guys, please move out and kill those ants. Did he buy the space back? Yeah, he bought the space, guys. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's time to cheat. So, because I believe it's it's just too triggering at this point, you know? Let's let's just cheat. I believe it's about cheating. We were holding ourselves for like one hour, but I believe without the Balrog Summon, it's literally not possible anymore. But I just don't want to quit as well, because I've been now investing so much time into that. Please, fly. That I CBA is quitting this now, to be honest with you. I'm triggered. Without Army of the Dead, yeah, they are, like the problem is they have just too many ends, and ends are too powerful. Even for Mumma kills, faster than Mumma kills, having range, tanker than Mumma kills. It's just too much. Too much of a problem. Sorry for breaking the rules, but I couldn't handle the situation anymore. Because he was just buying this beast back too, you know what I'm saying? Now, my Balrog of the ancient world is going to handle the situation. No problemo. I got you. Fly, Balrog. So, nice. Attack this one time and destroy the castle once and for all. You wanna fight and... You wanna fight against Balrog, my friend? And he's even able to tank him, by the way. He's even able to tank him. Are you kidding me? Fly there before... Oh, look how many... Like, he's killing our Mumma kills in no time, man. We need to buy this before he buys it. <laughs> that would be even worse, to be honest with you. I mean, I believe at this point what we have to do is, if you want to win this one, guys, we need to just either make trolls, which are going to be destroying those ends in no time, because they have drama troll and stuff like that, or we need to just get all the Nazgus on the field. But for, for now, just try to win with the units only, without breaking. Okay, so we will eventually lose this one. No, we are actually we are winning this fight kind of a little bit. Let's replace this. The problem is that we will also need to destroy or recapture the, this settlement, which we just lost before. That's also very important. Now we have all of a sudden a bit more command points available, Dom. That's pretty nice. It means we can get up to almost 10 battalions of ants. And now let's use these ants to recapture this one. While we should be also trying to uh, protect this one in the meantime. We lost all the towers. What the heck? I also heard the Elvin horn. Yeah, it's just it's just too much damage at this point from him, you know. So basically, we gotta give it up, and because more permanent ends are coming. So now move on, move on, ends, move on. Just destroy this castle to reclaim this. Very important for us. We need to just stall until the next Balrog. And until this time, we should not try to lose any more castles. This one is going to be eventually taken down, but it's fine. Um, to be honest, I don't care about this. If there are just too many ants, I can't even defend this at this point. Tyrion, are you out of your mind, my friend? Let's go inside, 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 inside. And, and Mumma kids, please. You see, they can't enter. They can't enter. We need to break the gate. It's so buggy, you know. Let's use darkness. No. 
We are getting lots of Mumma kills here though. Holy moly. Please attack this. What is going on? Why is it so hard? Break the gate. The they are so weak. This Mumma kills, dude. It's driving me crazy. Look how many ants does he have. What the heck is this, bro? Hey, who's taking care of the Mumma kill over there? You guys go here and finish off this base. Don't care about this base. We will be losing this base anyway. You won't be there in time. So let's use darkness. Make them hopefully a bit tankier. Holy man. They are dying so fast too, you know. This Mumma kills against elves. And imagine if you would have no Witch King on the field all game long, boys. You know what I'm saying? Like without Witch King. I mean, we are not playing a 1v1. In 1v1 it would be maybe possible or not maybe 100% possible. But in a 1v7, like uh, especially against Rohan, uh, who is spamming like 100,000 end moods on you. And while 3 bit is being extremely tanky at the same time, look how buggy they are also when you have like this many on them, of them on the on the field, you know? They need like one hour to destroy or to attack. We need to just defend this castle in the meantime. Just, just, just ignore the, you know. Did he actually recapture this one? No, he didn't recapture this one yet. So I have an idea. Let's go for it. No man can kill you. Be no witch king. So let's try to go for a sneaky recapturing. And let's try to go for like a sneaky rebuilding around this side too. Okay, should be fine now. Money is not a problem. So just scare them off, bitch king. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Buy, rebuy this, nice, nice, nice. Before he rebuys it. Can you go inside now? Yeah, you can go inside. Just go inside. Let's build towers. And furnaces. This army can't get any bigger. Are you sure about that? Just go inside the jeans. Just ignore everything else and focus on the buildings. But the problem is that this one or one archer battalion with fire is kind of destroying us, guys. It's destroying us. Uh, I'm gonna just call on the B. Oh, call on the B, you guys, right? Just go for the B. The Bial Rock of Morgoth. Oh, I was not paying attention. Balrog, please do your thing, my friend. Fly inside the jeans. Use your ignite. Boom. One more time. Boom. Refine it. Did we do something here? Guys, please attack. Why, why don't you attack? I don't get it. Attack. Attack everything. Balrog, please, please, please. Well, we need to attack it three times, really. Let's fly. Alright, fly one more time. And attack. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We, we destroyed that. Please destroy the structures, dude. Hard army has been defeated. That's dope. He's refusing to destroy the structures, the Mumai kills. They are so tilting. Now we have more Mumai kills, but you see they are being they are just watching when they are being attacked. Can we defend this please? Okay. Just destroy this one at the same time. Now Witch King, please uh, go to this spot and now we will need to claim this one for ourselves. Okay, this one is also destroyed. That's dope. Now you guys have to move on. Wait, hold on a second. You guys need to move on um, to this person right here. And you also guys, you all of you guys go attack this guy on the left side. While we will also need to defend this side at the very same time. Which is going to be harder than you might think. There are command points kept. That means we have nearly 10 Mumai kills up on the field. As every single one of these is costing us 30 command points. So, and we have one, two openings left only. Destroy it. Get this garbage out of my face. Oh, oh, witch king, witch king, witch king. Did we lose this already? Yeah, we lost this already, man. Rebuy it. Just be annoying at this point. Just rebuy it. You know what? Rebuy it. No, 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 no. Don't destroy it, don't destroy it, don't destroy it. The 
Ignore that. Ignore that. Go, go, go. Defend the space. What is going in the meantime? Which king can you join the party? Let's use darkness. Please attack. Nice, nice, nice. Is that an end throwing rock at us? Dude, Tribute, you are really tilting me. Okay, let's go inside the jeans. Can we defend this in time? Hopefully we can. Let's hope for it at least. Go, go, go and kill this. Uh, Tribute, please. One of you Mumma kills. Please attack the structures, come on. Nah, we are also losing the moment kills left and right, though. Okay. Please go here and do something about that. Guys, um, I'm sorry for my uh, lack of commentary in this game, but this game was, you know, draining so much focus of me. Especially because there is so much stuff happening at the same time, which is very hard for me to also. You see, I need to like always keep an eye on the on the minimap. I was I was always forced to keep an eye on the on the bases on our castles, just because our castles were getting siege all the time from the Mumai kills, uh, from the end, um, which are not very fun to play against, to be honest with you. So long story short. Can we even finish off this base though? That's the big question. I hope so. Let's use Screech. This is Gimli actually try. That's not Gimli, that's a peasant. Just focus on the buildings, please. Yeah, that's all I'm asking you for. You need more Mumu kills though. Oh, he's using army after that, huh? Yeah, we were feeding him too much at this point. That's why. But Hard Army has been defeated. And the army of the dead is going to be gone very soon. Just like in the films, you know, they are able to trample your... Um, or go over your movement kills. The interaction is pretty much the same. Now... Oh, we lost the Witch King too, by the way. I didn't even pay attention. I'm so... I'm playing so bad in this game. Sorry for that, guys. I'm playing really, really bad in this game. He's gonna kill our Mumikil, by the way, and he's going to destroy this castle. Watch him. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, like, look how much damage the Archer Battalion is dealing now to our uh, Citadel. Do you see that? When, whenever it's able to attack. Need more Mumikils. The last march of Mumikils. That's the only player left, right? Yeah. So, you know what? Let's hurt him a little bit with the Balrog. Because he's tilting me. Okay, Balrog, it's your turn, my friend. He's even summoning more ends now. He's like going for the ultra tilt mode, I guess. Boom, son. Boom. Breath fire. We lost the citadel to three beards. Just like that. Defend this. Breath fire. Nice. Fly, baby. On top of the archer range, just like that, which deals massive damage. Baldrock is, of course, the goat. Okay, nice. You wanna rebuild that? Are you sure about that? Phew, nice. Let's do spray fire here. Did you guys see he didn't want to use it? <laughs> now we gotta take care of these though. Wait. Are these permanent ends now? So basically what I want... Now we have 400 command points available. Now we can get a bit more ends on the field, you know? So guys, please, you guys... Just now... Go to this side... And make something happen. Uh, what, did we not build anything here, or did he just kill everything what we were building? I don't know. I don't know what is going on. But I know that he has army of the dead, and we need to be fast before he gets the second charge of the army of the dead. 
just destroy everything. Oh my goodness, man. This guy is tilting. Like, leave me alone. Leave my base alone, dude. <laughs> Come on now. Fire arrows, everything, you know, inside the base. Let's use uh, industry here for whatever reason. Doesn't do anything for us, but let's use it anyway. We'll be, I think we will be able to keep it protected, actually. Which is pretty <laughs> ironic. Look, the Citadel HP was down to 5% five five or something like that. Look how long it takes for the one movement kill to destroy this. Because the auto attack animation and the auto attack speed is so extremely slow, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We destroyed the enemy. Should be in a good spot. Hopefully. Just go inside the base for a man and destroy the gate and go. Witch King is also on the field, that's dope. More Muma kills are arriving. Like this purple, Rohan has like full map control. What's going on now? Just break the gate, Muma kills. Alright, guys, I need to say sorry for using the Wild Rock, but you have seen yourself. It would be a line but it would be a lie when I would say this was a fun experience for me. It was just very, very painful. Uh, which is kinda okay for the challenges, but it was just like unexpected unacceptable for me, you know, to see this many this many uh, end moods and three builds and permanent ends, the summon ends, this, that. Like Dude, it was really a nightmare to play. But I've never done this before. I believe playing against Gondor is a bit easier, of course, because you can just like use your Nazgul to kill the Trebuchet, and that's all Mo Gondor can do against your Mumma kills. You can run them down. But of course, Rohan has more heroes, more uh, structures, more units, and for that reason, also most of the time, more money to build uh, end moods 24/7. So with that being said, it was kind of I was kind of forced because I was all of a sudden losing my hope to win this game, you know. I think we could have still won this, but it would just take another hour because we would be kind of forced to defend, move out again, and then defend again and stuff like this. It would just take too much time. But it was a fun experience anyway. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. It's the last beast. It's all about the fun with the last march of the Muma kills. Look at this Muma kills, dude. Everywhere. Cloud break all you want. I can use darkness too. Like the last march of the Muma Kills. Nice, nice, nice. And the last piece of Rohan is falling as he's being overrun by the mighty Haradrims. It was Haradrim army versus seven heart Rohans, boys. We have not we were not recruiting any orcs, not any trolls, no Nazgul beside the Witch King, who we were mainly almost exclusively were using for uh say it, for sporting purposes. The only cheat we did was this dude right here. Yeah, and the Balrog of Morgoth. Breath fire them, Balrog. Can you kill them? They don't even die to the breath fire when you don't ignite. You need to ignite, you know? So he's trying to rebuild it, but no, 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 sir. I won't allow that. And Q right click. Q right click means every unit in inside, you know, in the in the game are going to automatically attack this. I want to fly as the game ends with the Balrog. Fly, Balrog. And Heart Army has been defeated. We are victorious just like that. I'm not proud of this victory, though. I gotta be honest. I was not expecting to be forced to use the Balrog summon anytime soon. You see, like, they also killed a lot of units. We destroyed uh, almost 3,000 units in this game. We also lost nearly 400 structures and destroyed only 85. We were losing, rebuilding, losing, rebuilding, losing, rebuilding all the time. But at the end of the day, it was still possible without trolls, without orcs, without uh, archers, fire. And again, the painful moment was to see multiple end moods being, ne being built next around your base, which is just a very painful experience. But hopefully it was fun for you to watch. If it was, again, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.